Hey guys, welcome to another part of our Let's Play, our very speedy legacy, 10 part legacy challenge. This challenge, I say it every time, is killing me. It takes like three to four and a half hours each part to get through a whole generation. I didn't think it'd be this hard. Now, I'm not sitting here complaining because I wanted to say it. it's kind of like a love-hate relationship for me. Like, I'm so impatient to get through it, but then I'm also like loving it as well. So I just know that I am enjoying myself at the same time. Also, it's time of the month today. I'm literally like in a pajama shirt. I don't even know if I have makeup on. I think I do. I think I have like half makeup on. I just ate pasta, so I am red around the lips and I have lactose-free Ben and Jerry's and a cup of tea. You know, it is, it, it truly is the time to shine of the month. <laughs> So excuse me for looking a little disheveled, shall we say. So anyway, I played a little bit ahead um, just to get Ocean through their teenhood. Also, some of you guys were saying, why are you saying they and their for everyone in the LP? Honestly, I've just been kind of getting used to saying them, they more often now. Like it's, I don't know. I think I'm just starting to get used to it. So <laughs> I don't even know why I'm doing it at this stage, just for practice, I guess. Um, but anyway, yes, we've come to the, the local bar in Brindleton Bay because Ocean is gonna age up. Sadly, a lot of folks are at work, but I thought it might be nice to get them to finish work a bit early. Oh, and how's that? Victoria got promoted. Nice one, following in Iris's footsteps. Yay, they're getting here a little bit late, but they are coming. Look how nice Iris looks. And also I gave Iris like this kind of cropped mullet-esque haircut. I think it looks really cool on them. Oh wow, they're so tired after work. Okay, maybe just dropping by for birthday cake is a good idea. And look at these guys! And also keep in mind that Mariella and Ocean, they are like best friends. They've grown up around the same age. Mariella, I just aged up yesterday. Is Mariella baking a cake? What are you doing? Oh, making chips and salsa. Oh, that's so sweet. Okay, well, before everyone passes out, I brought the birthday cake. Oh, we're just gonna put it on the ground, okay. Okay, and we are going to blow out the candles. Happy birthday, Ocean! Aging up into a young adult, and they also carry the responsibility of bringing the next heir to the family, which is generation six. This is the furthest I've ever got in a legacy challenge. Ocean has the Lady of the Knits aspiration. Dog lover, they also love art, so I'm curious to see what we get. Childish, hmm. Okay, that is an interesting mix. And Hazel has sent Ocean a gift in the mail. They usually do. Now they're gonna have a little boogie. Woo! Love your style of dancing, everyone. I'm just wondering, is there any potential interests? What about this guy, Afu? Afu? Because sadly, you know, you have to work quick with these sims. With this generation challenge, you just gotta find someone. I mean, they probably came to the bar to find a potential suit. Uh, Dale? Goth? Are you a goth? I would love to marry a goth in the family, but they're already a young adult. Oh dear, what's happening in here? Oh my. I mean, I feel like Dale's looking at us. I just, I just don't know, like, are they gonna be an elder tomorrow and die? <laughs> but I feel like they are checking us out. I mean, I don't necessarily mind a little bit of age difference and the goths are iconic. Also, a food just did not seem that interested. Aww. Interesting, interesting. I do feel some chemistry here. Well, if he's like recently an adult, is not it's not as bad. But then again, if we have a sim who dies pretty quickly, that's not so bad either. Because it's kind of like, then we'll have less people in the house to look after, <laughs> even though that sounds really bad. Oh, also, we've had a couple of love interests for some of our non-air sims, which is fun. Uh, Ernest met Mariella the other day. And then Victoria also has been seeing the postman, Susumu. Oh dear, Iris. Wait, we are moving through this so quickly. When did Cohen die? Was that in the last part? Oh yeah, that's right, Cohen did die in the last part. Oh my gosh, I thought I just completely missed him. 
Okay, maybe we should just go home because it's actually it's not late at all. I was gonna say it's getting late. It's 7 20, which is late for me. Which is therefore late for my sims. Everybody time to go home, but also I just don't want ink. Iris to pass out again. And I keep calling Iris Ingrid. I don't know why. Oh, what? It's singles night. Come back, Ocean. Let's order a singles night drink. I'm gonna get something flirty. Whoa, Afu. I'm loving the pride. Happy Pride Month. Okay, who? where's our goth friend we had? Also, the other thing is we're starting to earn quite a lot of money and I did a bit of a renovation to our house, which you guys will see soon. I basically just expanded the lounge room. Let's bring them somewhere more quiet. And this is such a pretty area, kind of on this little jetty spot with the fairy lights. This is quite nice. Wait, are you leaving us? Please don't leave. No, no, no. <laughs> he just left. All right, time for us to go home. Singles night sucks. All right, it's Sunday morning and we're back at our house. This house has grown a lot. Um, you know, it's pretty big now and I fixed the front door up. I added some columns, spandrels, a nice double door and also some greenery at the front of the house. And this undercover area has been expanded a little bit and I'll give you guys a little bit more of a show and tell of everything. But basically this is um, just a bigger, wider slightly longer living area because it was just a little bit squishy and small for the amount of sims living here so you'll notice there's just a few minor changes it looks pretty similar just bigger and better and we're all having sunday pancakes which is nice and i thought this was kind of cool having this like spandrel middle area in the kitchen just because the room's so big sometimes it's nice to add some of that extra structural um detailing why are you eating over here ocean oh yeah and i dyed ocean's hair like bleach blonde just for a change from the blue also uh mariella's got a job because they're into fishing i don't think the fishing career is very good so i ended up getting them a gardening career just because they seem like a pretty all-around skilled sim they also are a collector they're a bit adventurous they just seemed outdoorsy and iris i really want to finish their aspiration of being a painter extraordinaire we're up to the last part of that so we just need to do three more masterpieces and get to level 10 painting skill now i was having a lot of trouble getting to masterpiece quality for the paintings but you guys told me make sure you use the better easels get inspired before you paint and also add a special lot trait to the house, uh, which is the home studio lot trait. And that's just, that's just made everything much better. We're able to do excellent paintings almost every time now. So in terms of house changes, like I said, we've made this area a bit bigger, which means we could have a bigger dining table with eight chairs. The founder's bedroom, which used to be like an olive green color, I freshened this up. So it's really nice for Iris and Hillary. So they've moved into there. Um, I've also put up the masterpieces Iris has completed so you guys can see those. They're nice. But this will be where the family portraits go. What was the butler's room is now Mariella's room. I've got this room ready for the incoming toddler. Um, I made this studio a little bit smaller at the end here and took away the doorway so it feels a little less like a bedroom. And then upstairs I added a butler's bedroom here. So this is just a smaller room for the butler. Flint's room is looking really nice and kind of a little snazzy with the colored lights and lava lamps for his like creative keyboard time. This is Victoria's room that's been all rearranged and freshened up. I just feel like when the old family members pass away that we need to freshen up their rooms so it's all nice and of course this is ocean's room where there's already a cot at the end of the bed i mean talk about pressure i mean maybe for ocean it's a case of you know just getting pregnant and maybe they're not that interested in having a, a romantic a full-blown romantic relationship or a, at this point in their life 
you know, it might take them a little bit longer to, to form feelings for someone. Maybe they don't form feelings as easily, but they do have to fulfill this for their family. So maybe let's invite a goth over, Dale. Oh, Dale's evil. I don't want to make a baby with an evil sim. Oh, and Afu is self-absorbed. Why are there no decent bachelors? Look, it's not ideal, but we're wanting to get that, uh, those goth genetics and family funds. Although, I mean, we have a lot of money now. Oh, it's almost Hillary's birthday and it's almost Flint's birthday as well. Flint's almost an elder. Oh, Mariella can finally evolve all of our plants too, because no one was skilled enough to do that. And it's also just out of summer, so we won't be seeing to these trees anymore. We get the last avocados. It's almost like Hillary is giving Ocean some advice on how to get Dale's, what should we say, specimen. <laughs> Let's just take a photo with Dale. Oh wow, and instantly we're best of friends. All right, let's turn on the flirting. Okay, you need to get out, Hillary. I know you wanna help, but this is something that Ocean has to figure out themselves. So let's just look at this for everyone. He's locked in now, you guys. I feel so bad having to rush this, you guys. I really do. But you know, Ocean can find someone else if if we meet someone that can be their soulmate, okay? This is just purely their baby daddy. Here we go. Yay! This is going very well, actually, for such a quick hookup. I wonder if he will agree to this. I mean, it's pretty soon. I would not be surprised if he said, no, I'm not ready yet. He is ready to? Okay, well, here comes hopefully the sixth generation, you guys. I feel so bad for Ocean. Oh, what a, it would be such a curse to have to be in this family and produce a kid just to keep the generations going. Okay, we are busting, so this is a great time to see if we're pregnant. I'm also thinking of maybe extending out this way, another room or another bathroom. Maybe even a nursery, like a permanent nursery would be good. I should really get going now? Um, uh, okay. I guess you're happy to just leave it on that note. That's fine. <laughs> Jeez. <gasps> no, 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 you can't leave. You, oh, he really can't leave. We need to um, try for a baby again. Okay, we'll try again, hopefully this time. Oh, Flint's just playing the music in the background. This is the mood. I love Flint. Flint and Iris were definitely like the cool generation. Also, I noticed to write a song, it takes so long, you guys, and your sim can't leave and then come back later to finish it. It has to be in one big go without being disturbed. Oh my gosh! Iris, um, all right, has leveled up. If we become a patron of the arts, I'm pretty sure we get a higher quality easel which is easier for is it this one i don't know easier to paint masterpieces on higher quality artwork yay we're having a baby that's exciting all right we can unlock the door now dale you're free to leave <laughs> should we just sit, ask to be friends now ask just to be friends i mean we really weren't this was not a a love a true love sadly it just did Ocean wouldn't fall for someone who's evil. But look, they're still good friends, which is really nice. So there you go. I, th I think that I think this was organized quite well. I'll let you know how the baby goes, baby. Can we give birth now? I wish we could click on the crib and just say give birth. All right, well, let's go tell our mom the big news. So we have some good news. The sixth generation is coming. Yay. And now I'm freaking out, kind of. I'm kind of excited. Well done, honey. I know this is kind of messed up, but you did what you needed to do. Well done. <laughs> Good lord. So weird. It's so cooked. Also, it looks like Hillary and Iris have gone up a bit with the green, which is nice. Oh, I'm glad you don't think my llama jerks are getting old. Okay, well, we need to get you a job, Ocean. I mean... I guess we could do like random knitting jobs. But it'd be easier if they just went into like a career. We've got charisma. We've even got a bit of painting. I feel like we've had too many painters. 
Oh, you only just decide now you like painting. Okay, Iris, better late than never. Oh, we just did another masterpiece. Nice one. I don't know what it, why this particular one's a masterpiece, but I'll take it. <laughs> okay, how many more? We've just got to do, th what? Complete. Wasn't that the third masterpiece? Not the second. I hope this hasn't broken. Yeah, I also have some more seeds to plant here. So you can plant those. And also, this is what we found the other day, the other day. We found an Ambrosia pet treat. So this can revive a pet from death. And then we also found a gold bar. So this gold bar is 6,000 simoleons. Mariella found that while fishing. Fishing! A $6,000 golden bar from fishing. Ooh, that's fun. I think we need a bigger studio, you guys. This studio is getting a little small for all of these these things we are being given, you know? Wait, I totally had a mental blank. What was I meant to get? Oh, the plopsy duration has expired. You know, that's so, I feel like, I know a lot of people have been saying plopsy's not really working or maybe you like can't go, you can't leave the lot until they sell, but these have been up for days and we need to sell it to move on to the next satisfaction level. Oh, actually Ocean does need to have a selfie so we can add it to the wall. I don't think we need to add the baby daddy to the wall. Oh, we finished a song too, just because he's not that important. Well, I guess that's kind of mean. He, he is important in his own way, but it's not as beautiful love story as we've had in the past. Oopsies, this is the wrong way. <laughs> Wait, take another selfie. Oh, that's a nice one. That's much nicer. Okay, here we go. Nice, there we go. It's so cool seeing all the different generations. One, two, three, four, five. Wow. Okay, Ocean, what are you gonna do for a career? I feel like you could do anything. I mean, we could do simple business career. Or teach it. Teacher's always a good time. Love the teaching career. Engineer? Not ideal though for a legacy challenge of this caliber. Law is a good time. I mean, they're very stylish. Well, maybe we'll just do a little bit of styling and see how we go. We can always change. Please be a masterpiece. Come on, Iris, you can do it. Was this it? Oh, oh, the socks have sold. Yes, and we did a masterpiece. Good job, hopefully. Hopefully we can finish your aspiration before you pass away. That's so exciting. Okay, well now you can get some rest. Which also means you've... Wait, we sold an object on Plopsy. Why didn't this get ticked off the list? That's not fair. What the heckosaurus is this? Oh wait, wait, it's okay. Ship, we've got to ship it. That's why it hasn't been ticked off. It's okay guys, we're just gonna ship this. Yay! Excellent. We have so many things to knit. Maybe we should just focus on our knitting before we become a stylist. Is it bad that when my Sims are drinking coffee, I feel like a coffee? Is that a sign of addiction? Oh, and it's Hillary's birthday, everybody. The classic strawberry cake that gets handed down generations. How many Sims have used this birthday cake at this point? Like, how old is this cake? Oh, Hillary, it's time to blow out your candles, darling. Oh my gosh, Iris is aging up, and that means Flint is as well. They're all aging up. Oh, go Victoria, nice one. We're gonna have a lot of elders in this house. Oh, Hillary. Still pretty cool. Okay, it's your go, Iris. Time to blow out the candle, and then Flint, you'll be next. Here we go. Oh, refined palette flint. Wow, how fancy of you. Okay, Iris aging up outside as they always like to do. Oh, Iris is so cool. What a cool grandma. And then Uncle Flint, here we go, blowing out the candles. Oh, Manuel has sent Iris a gift. Tea time. And then Flint has aged up as well. Oh, Flinty boy. Looking good, so my man. Mm, strawberry, don't mind if I do. Okay, now this can go back in the box. This I'm throwing out because you guys have way too much cake in your life. Iris, we really have to focus on finishing your aspiration. We have to finish someone's aspiration. It's going to be Iris's. Have to also update the family portrait. It's all happening. Okay, well, now that I've shown you some of these 
artwork masterpieces. I feel like we should be able to delete some, at least the ones that aren't as cool. We can keep a few up. They just don't really look like masterpieces. They're kind of underwhelming. <laughs> this was before the kids came. And then here are the kids. Okay, Victoria has been invited to this festival by Susumu, the um, male man, who's now an elder, which is really sad because when they first started seeing each other, he was an adult and they like hit it off right away. So I'm kind of sad about this, but you know, they love each other. And I feel like just because he's older, it doesn't necessarily mean it's creepy. You know, sometimes it's very genuine. So maybe these two can get something to eat. We'll order some food. What have you got here? Pho, yum. Whoa. <laughs> I guess the awkward thing is if you fall for the mailman or the male person, they know where you live, which might not be ideal. And then if it doesn't work out, then there's always going to be the risk of running into them like every day. <laughs> not ideal. <gasps> Who's this? This is a pancake, Josiah. Hmm. Hey, Ocean, you should get here right now. I've found a potential suitor. Oh no, adult though. Damn it. But how good would a pancake be in our family? We're really going after the family names. The goths, the pancakes. The land grabs are next. Josiah seems really, really sweet. Like, just seems ni like a nice sim. They can just be friends. Oh, these two. I see this relationship as genuine. Also, this is actually a well-dressed sim. This is rare. <laughs> okay, we had to come home because Ocean almost... Okay, they did pee themselves. I was going to say they almost peed themselves, but they did. I actually think Iris should quit their job and just retire and then focus on their painting aspiration. All right, so we'll get some nice paychecks. But you've put in the hard yard. We retired as a color theory critic. Oh, and she's feeling very inspired. So that's a good sign. Yes, another masterpiece. We've only got to do two more. Another masterpiece. Very good. We're making so much money from all of these masterpieces too. Let's see if we can do three in a row. And hey, what's our skill level at nine? Oh, almost at level 10. Oh, not a masterpiece. I also heard that some paintings, like a classic painting, you're more likely to get a masterpiece with. Yay, we just reached level 10 painting skill. Still not quite at masterpiece. The level 10, yay! We'll get a nice plaque as well. Go Iris. I'm gonna try one more time. Uh, Ocean, what the heck are you wearing? How can you be a stylist and wear this? Why is this the work outfit? Good lord, this pregnancy is making her go crazy. Now this is Ernest, and Ernest Mariella is interested in, and they've had, you know, a little bit of very proper flirtation. You can see here there's a little, there's a little bit of love there. But I thought these two were perfect. Also, they're both young adults. And I think they're just meant to be together. Oh, he just said he's gonna get going right before the first kiss. What the heck? I guess it's late and he's very proper. Oh, what? Wait, 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 wait. <gasps> they're having their first kiss out here. Sneaky, but just before he goes home. Oh, I think we missed it, but um, that's so cute. It was right before he left. Wait, he's staying? He's running around in circles because he's so excited. That was the cutest first kiss I think my Sims have ever had. And I've, I've never, I didn't even get to see it and see he's going home. All right, everyone, it's go time. Ocean is in labor. Let's have this baby. Let's go. I think it's going to be a boy this time. We've had, we've had a few girls. I think it's time for a boy. Oh, the drama of giving birth. Oh, it's another girl. Okay. Um, what about Coral? Coral Sigworth. <gasps> what? Two girls? Shut the front door. Coral and Clover. They're both nature names. 
My gosh, I was not um, expecting twins. Definitely not expecting twins. Oh, they're all the way down here. Hello. So this is little Clover. And Grandma Iris has no idea what's happening. Aw, look, Bambino is here. All right, well, let's age them up right away. Oh, and we need to go pee pee too. So who are we aging up first? Clover, so Clover. Oh my gosh, what was that? Okay, we've got an angelic little Clover. Oh, brunette. Oh, oh, Mariella's here helping. Oh, Mariella's so good. Okay, this is not normal. This, this really does scare me because it's happening every time. I don't know if it's because this cot is CC, but this is kind of terrifying. We had twins. <laughs> and here we go, little coral aging up. Did we pass on the blonde hair from dyeing our hair? Because if you dye your hair in The Sims, that may be passed on to your kids. Just keep that in mind. We got a little silly one. Oh, we do have the blonde locks. That that's some big hair for a little Todd love. <laughs> wow, can't believe we had little Todd Dodds. Oh look, they're here to say hello to Grandma. Why are you hugging? Why are you hugging the the bag instead of the kid? <laughs> Okay. Oh, we're feeling very inspired. I'm so sorry, grandchild, but we, grandmama has to do this. When they're very inspired, it's a good time for them to do a masterpiece. Go strike while the iron's hot. All right. I think we have another bed from last time we had twins. Just do a little bit of rearranging in the kids' room. Oh yeah, here's the other bed we have. This is back when they great, great, grand, great, great grandfather like to go his dream was to go to Selva Dorada so they went on their family trip there that was quite a beautiful time wasn't it yay we did it Iris has completed the painting aspiration with oh, oh good good lady hugging the garbage but like this is probably one of the huh? creepiest paintings Charming? you could have finished with <laughs> But that's so exciting! Good art is subjective, but spectacular art is universally recognizable. Iris has reached the pinnacle by achieving her dream of becoming a world-class painter. So we've earned the trait a expressionistic. Iris can make emotional art regardless of her mood. Oh, I mean, I gotta be honest, I'm not sure if that's like the most handy reward. So what, we can do like any kind of painting? I mean, it's... Kind of cool, but oh, actually, yeah, it is pretty cool because then you could do one painting of each and then all you have to do is get your Sims to look at it and then they'll f be influenced to feel that way. So, for example, if we do a flirty painting right now, uh, the Sims can look at this and then hopefully feel a little bit flirty or you can hang it in a bedroom and enable the aura. So there we go. This can be our flirty painting. Oh, nice work. Oceans fulfilled everything they need to do for work. Honestly, everyone's kicking goals. Oh, and it's harvest fast. Okay, well, let's maybe start appeasing some of these gnomes and then we can add them to our little gnome garden. Hey. Oh, that's right. All the gnomes move because it's harvest fast. We did have a gnome collection until they all migrated around the house. I feel like on harvest fast, you should be able to ask to make like a celebratory meal under the butler menu, like a grand meal. This is creepy. They're making like a little circle out here. Yay, good job. Hey everyone, it's Harvest Fest fishy dinner. Come get your fish. It's kind of terrifying seeing the gnomes near the toddlers because they're about the same size. Like I, I worry about the toddler's safety. I'm just adding another extension to the back of the house here because we have a bit of extra funding and also because of the twins. We're gonna need another bedroom. Although the oldies are probably gonna pass away soon. This also probably means that we'll need another bathroom. And I also feel like we need another living area. I mean, that's another thing. We could turn this into a living area. Like just have it open. And I don't know, we just sort out the bedrooms to work as Sims pass away. So we could have the bathroom here. So at least, you know, 
these bedrooms have somewhere to go to. And over here we could try and have a lounge room. Also, as much as this desk is great because we got it for free, you can't actually put computers on it because of this lip here. So I'm actually going to sell that and get this one. This is by Pierrezin from the Office Mini Kit. It's a really nice little kit if you guys don't want to download too much CC but you want to have a few things here and there. It's just like a mini kit. And these colored like iMac looking ones are by Sixum. Um, but I'm not sure if Sixum's still releasing content for free. I need to check on that. I mean, the great thing now is that we have so many paintings just lying around the house. We will always have something to put on the walls. Like this one I really like by Iris when they were younger. I'm wanting to add a lot more fun things for the kids to do. So let's maybe put like, I mean, do we even need these? I don't think we do anymore. Okay, I've also put some fencing around. We've gone down to seven and a half thousand, but you know, I think this is nice. We have more of a backyard now for the kids. We've got a little swing set over this side. Over here, we can maybe put like a little sun lounge. It's becoming a very family friendly home, which I absolutely love. And I can see the house extending over this way and even over this way as well. So I think we've done a really good job of it. Oh no, it's almost Iris's time. That's so sad. Interesting Iris is living longer than Flint because I feel like, oh no, okay, now it's just come that Flint's almost at their final time. So sad. And this is what, this is what she wants to do with the last few days of her life is go dumpster diving. Really, Iris? And well, I think Iris will want to spend Instead of being in the dumpster, maybe some time with her grandkids. Wee! Oh, that looks like so much fun. I don't know, I still feel like kids' playgrounds are, are so much fun to go on. I kind of, like, they really should have adult playgrounds. And I mean that in an innocent way, okay? And Flint will probably want to play with them as well, can play as a monster. Oh, he's put out his back. Oopsie doopsies. Hey, I got a special gift for you because you're such a good neighbor and I appreciate your kindness and friendship. Want to see what this is? What did you get for us? Did you want to meet your kids for the first time? <laughs> Dale is like, uh, my, this kid's in the way. I'm trying to cook something here. Yeah, he's freaking oh, out about the babies. <laughs> he's like, these are mine, oh my God. <laughs> Sir, are you gonna give us anything yes. or are you just, Gonna take pictures of the kitchen, okay. He's a strange one, Dale Goth. Because Iris is gonna pass away soon, why don't we get something from the reward store, like the money tree, for the family to enjoy once we've passed away, like a gift from Iris. So we'll plant that outside. All right, we'll just put it over here next to the kid's little house. And we should send any of these things to Geo Council. Also, Mariella is now going to be a florist, so that's very exciting. Alright, so Iris got the money tree, Flint's going to water it, so that's their gift to the family before they depart on their next journey. Oh, we did get from Dale a Isla Paradiso postcard. Oh, well that's nice, but he just waited until we actually hung out with him before he gave us the card, which does seem a little strange. So we can put that on the wall, very nice. My god, there's the return of the white cakes. They're everywhere. Dale's the one making them, I think. Well, this is probably maybe before they go to bed, the last mother-daughter -da moment together. Aww, I love these two. Maybe we'll just ask about future plans and then they'll head off to bed. Now it's a question of who's gonna die first. <laughs> We have three elders. Oh, meat cube, nice. That were the the three elders elders are all gonna die at around the same time. So we're gonna go from eight Sims to five. It's gonna it's it's gonna be a little bit of a shock. <gasps> you guys, it's Hillary going first. I think that makes sense because I think we focused less on Hillary. She didn't achieve as much in her life. So I'm not 
too shocked by that. Goodbye, Hillary. You were a great asset to the family. Thank you for your contributions. And may you rest peacefully. Oh, wow, you guys. And I've just checked over here. And it looks like Iris is passing away at basically the exact same time. So they are exiting together, which is actually really nice. Except kind of disturbing that we're going to have two dead bodies in the house. And goodness knows, maybe Flint's ready to go as well. Let's wake him up and see if he wants to catch the same train. Oh, here he goes. He is catching the same train. I personally think it's really nice they're going together. This house is gonna feel so empty. Why did I build so many more rooms? I guess one room could be an office and for different skills. Oh, these guys were so successful as well because Flint, he was such a great musician and he was pretty high up in his career as well. He was at level six. Oh, who's the most popular family member? We've got two Sims here. Hillary's already gone. Oh, Ocean's sleeping, really unaware of what's happening. Wait, where's Grim gonna go next? Where is Grim? Oh, Grim's going up here first. Interesting. <laughs> Bye, Flint. We'll miss you. It's a very busy day. Very busy day for Grim. Let's try and plead for Iris to see if they can come to the kid's birthday. Oh, I'm still alive. I am. I guess you saved me. Thank you so much. Oh, that's lovely. Thanks, Grim. So... At least Iris, Iris will get to see the twins age up. They won't have long, so... <laughs> oh no, the kids are dreaming about the Grim Reaper. That's so sad. So maybe we'll quickly get the kids up so we can quickly have their birthday. I don't know what affects Grim when you plead. Like, is it because Iris was so successful in her life or... I'm not sure, but I feel like we get really lucky with Grim a lot of the time. At least in this left play. All right, Carl, time to age up. Woo, so Carl is going to be a bookworm. I think mental aspiration goes really well with that. And then here we go, little Clover, time for you to age up. Oh, they want to age up in privacy, fair enough. So Clover's going to be creative. Okay, so creativity aspiration is a good match. Oh, and Dale has sent Clover a gift. Don't think the other child got a gift though. He probably doesn't even know he has two kids. So let's have a look at these kids. So this is Clover, the brunette. They may have gotten the goth nose, I think. And then Coral here. Okay, so they look quite different. Oh no, same nose, but different eyes. Very interesting tea. Might have gone to bed and then come back and right before I started filming, someone else might have died. So it was Iris. I feel like I'm really sorry, you guys. They just kind of passed away as I was setting up. I know I should have paused, but I didn't realize. Um, so yeah, Iris died. But, it, you know, we saved Iris and they were able to come back and enjoy. Oh, for a second I thought Grim was part of our household. I was thinking, what? <gasps> yes, get with Grim. Friendly introduction. Um, but, you know, yeah, they came back. They saw their grandkids age up. That was really nice. So, you know, they had a good time. And it's kind of nice that you guys didn't have to see them die again, don't you think? Right? Right? <laughs> I should really get going now. Thanks for hanging out with me. Wow. You know, Grim really does play hard to get. So I did a little bit of a makeover of Ocean now that they're becoming a bit of a stylist. Um, yeah, they're really, I mean, they were always a fashionable sim, but I feel like now they've really kind of upgraded their look. Uh, and I haven't had a second to redo Victoria's look and also Mariella's. I feel like Mariella's going to be cool and outdoorsy, not as, not like as like fashion forward stylish, but still dress really nicely. Um, Victoria actually is off to work now as an artist. And actually we do need to go to my new lot, which is a graveyard. Yes, I have added a graveyard <laughs> to the world. I got it off the gallery, but I've made considerable changes to it. Um, so let's collect as many tombstones as we can from the family inventory, maybe. I guess there's going to be quite a few in here. 
I mean, how many Sims from our our house have died? I'm not quite sure. You know what? I've got that stupid ding dong song stuck in my head. Okay, well, I'll just kind of zoom through the working day. Uh, let's listen to some music. Ooh, performance gain, small, love that. Oh, it's new skill day. Get those skills up. Finish from memory. Oh, that wasn't a good idea. Why don't you make some winter crafts? Why don't you play some chess? And what do you need to do? You need to level up your writing skill. Oh, I forgot to put a chair at the desk. This house feels so empty now. I'm kind of thinking maybe we need to get uh, some other people to move in. Oh, I love how we have curtains on the wall going nowhere. <laughs> I love new skill day so much. Their skills level up like crazy. Okay, maybe let's take some photos. Let's take a photo with... Oh, here we go. That's nice. Work it, work it, work it. Yay, tradition complete. All right, you guys really need to have a little bit of a sleep. Who's here? Who's this? Dimitri. Well, nice work, Marielle. Now, do you have any tombstones in your inventory? I don't see any. I'm just seeing fish in here. I'm getting nervous, you guys. I feel like the tombstones have been deleted by the game or something. Oh my gosh, they're here in like a massive pile. Okay, that's that's okay. I was like, what is happening? Why have I lost all our family members? I was kind of freaking out, not gonna lie. I'm going to put them all in your inventory and then we'll take them to the graveyard in the morning. Oh, look at her with her two girls. Good morning, everybody. It is time to get ready for school. Um, let's just do your homework. That'd be a good thing. Hey, all the rocking chairs. So sweet. All right, school starts in about an hour. Maybe that'll be enough time for them to do their homework. Maybe we'll see how they go. Oh, actually, if we help them with their homework. Oh, Clover just became good friends with Ocean. That's sweet. Okie dokie, off to school. A little bit late for school. Let's invite Ernest over. Wait, Ernest is around here? Oh! Well, let's uh, run over and give Ernest a hug. Oh god, you must be freezing. And why are you yelling at him? Oh, that is the current outfit. That's okay. Okay, I feel like, uh, Koishi. Oh, Koishi! What are you doing? Maybe he thinks our hair looks really good from the back. I mean, they are really nice braids. Oh my gosh, what is with all of these? Wait, if we go f try for baby, I don't think that's gonna work. I just, I just want to see if this actually could work. I don't think it would. No, no, way too keen. Why? I guess because we are feeling really confident. Can we dive for thrills? Why do I feel like I'm ruining our chances with Ernest? Okay, he's walking away, so I don't think that went so well. Okay, well, let's go over to our friendly little graveyard. I just want Ernest to move in with us and have babies with Mariella, but I feel like he's really hard to get to know and to flirt with. I, this is the third time I've tried. And yes, I asked to have a baby with him, which is probably not the most smart thing to do, but come on, give us something. Okay, so this is the little uh, graveyard that I actually got off the gallery called Newcrest Graveyard. It was originally by Asa Tsiana, and then it was by Hunshep, and I did change it a, f a fair bit, which you can see it no longer has windows anymore, and there's some more trees now. Um, but yeah, I just thought this was nice and small, kind of like what you'd see in a little town. All right, so now I've got to sort through these. Uh, okay, so there's Hazel. Should we put, how about we like put Rose over there? So we had Harper and Stella, who then had Rain, right? Oh, we don't have Manuel. Oh no. I guess we'll put Flint and Iris together and then... Well then, was it Hazel who go with Cohen? No, Iris... No. I feel a bit bad because Rose was Rain's sister. So maybe we we do have to put Rose here. Okay, there we go. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Whoa, damn, we are filling up. We are definitely filling up. Yay, well, that's beautiful. What a nice, what a nice graveyard. Also, because now Mariella is a florist, we are going to need to put this floristry table somewhere, maybe out here. I think we should ask the um, mailman, Susumu, who Victoria's interested in, to move in. 
I mean, we have room. Why not? The more the merrier. Hold on, who's this? Peyton Yamada. I mean, I don't think they have anything going on. Surely not. Oh yeah, it's fine. It's fine. Aw, look at these two. Maybe they should have a little sneaky woohoo. The question is, where are they going to woohoo? There's the shower, there's the dumpster. Classic bed? Uh, not your bed, but that's, that's fine. <laughs> All right, well, let's let them have a little bit of privacy, shall we? Oh my God, Ernest wants to come over. Casual friend time together, what? I'm not sure about that. I think maybe you should think about coming here and spending some casual time with me. Oh no, oh, no, 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 no. They only literally just moved in. This is really bad luck. <laughs> no. We just moved you in. I didn't even get to see if you're still a mailman. I guess he quit his job. Oh my gosh, and he was a villainous Valentine. He wanted to get caught cheating. He wanted to break up couples. Okay, maybe we dodged a bullet. Okay, I'm not even gonna bother and really grieve this guy because he was here for a hot minute. Victoria, you know? Oh, and this is so annoying because it means everyone's gonna be really upset again for another 24 hours, probably. Goodness gracious, these poor kids. Do we need to add this to the family shrine? I guess so. Okay, well maybe let's, um, let's move in earnest. <laughs> try, try earnest and stay with it put that flirty painting remember how we had we made a flirty painting ah here it is in the toddler room for some reason okay let's move Ernest into this room and maybe we can you know make things saucy with the door locked okay now they're feeling flirty excellent can we do like a nice compliment appearance nothing stupid nothing crazy hey there's another door he's getting away <laughs> he's getting away you guys Quickly, ask to join household before he runs away any further. Ah, oh, does this mean we get all that money? Dang. Oh, that's so good. So let, let's get to know, what do you do for a job? You don't have a job. You like fishing as well. Oh my gosh, you guys, they both like fishing. Okay, well, I feel like you do need to have it. I think we'll just go for something pretty basic. We'll just do a business career. Okay, let's make this official now that they've moved in together. Ask to be boyfriend. Uh, surely this will be fine. Please work. Please. Oh, actually. Oh, that was pretty close because they don't actually know each other that well. But I feel like they're meant to be. Canoodle. That is possibly the cutest thing I've ever seen for a sim interaction. Oh, what? we're already boyfriend, girlfriend, aren't we? Did you say no? Let's have a baby. Let's have a bog more. I don't know why I say it like that, but let's go, let's go, let's go. Let's make this baby happen. Oh, someone's in the shower. Who is that? Oh, Clover is. Well, hopefully they'll finish before. No, Clover, don't walk out that door. Oh dear, that's a bit awkward. Well, they're under the covers, maybe. Oh no, she's traumatized. She's like, ah! <laughs> oh no. Oh, we should take a family portrait soon. Um, maybe we'll wait until there's a toddler in the family because it'll be a little cuter. Also, what kind of sim is Ernest? Is he Ernest? Luna, cat lover, and childish. Oh dear. Well, you know, a lot of you guys are probably Luna's cat lovers and a bit childish. Raise your hand in the comments down below if that's you. <laughs> I shouldn't be going, oh, that's a great, that's a great thing. That's a great way to be. We love loner cat lovers who are also childish. I mean, I'm childish in many ways. You wouldn't pick it. Well, I'm sorry, Victoria. I really did try to give you like a happy relationship. But you know, this was the thing. We knew this would happen because a while ago when they first met, I said the problem is he is a little bit older, so he probably wasn't gonna last very long. Now, Maria Elia. <laughs> What did I just say? Mariella, let's see if you are pregnant. What? No, more baby trying. I just really want them to have a baby. 
Bye bye, bye. Mariella is pregnant, eating for two, almost in second trimester. Very exciting, you better eat up, girl. And I think it's actually Victoria's birthday right now. So yes, let's open up this box. Let's get the classic confetti cake out and age up Vicky. I love how Vicky's eating breakfast whilst like getting ready to blow out the candles. Woo! And of course, as we always do, we uh, try and put this back in the box before anyone can eat anything from it. Oh my gosh, Vicky's an elder? Oh, okay, I thought, I did not realize they were an elder. That's happened so quickly. Should we retire them? Oh, they, they're probably still wanting to continue working. I kind of like that Ocean is a fashion designer because they did get into knitting, so maybe they're into designing knitwear. Because there's really like high-tech knitwear. It doesn't have to be grandma-ish or anything like that. Still got great legs at that age. I hope when I'm a grandma, my legs are like this. Oh my gosh, Vicky and Ocean, 100% friendship. That's wild. Aw, Susumu. You'll be joining them soon. Also, I think both the girls are A students. So we're going to take a look at that. Absolutely smashing this generation. Two, three... Four, five, six. This is generation six. We're over halfway. Holy dooly. That went quickly. I mean, it hasn't gone quickly, but it kind of has. Oh, oh, who got a promotion? Who got a promotion? Oh, Mariella is now a stem cutter. Bonus of 650 simoleon. Nice. And we finally got a flower arranging table. Uh, so I guess we can sell the one we were just given because we spent money buying one. And I know you guys might be thinking, well, Deli, you have heaps of money. You don't have to worry about money. There's 26,000. Well, 20,000 we got from Ernest moving in, but our bills are actually $600 a week. I, sorry, $6,000 a week, um, which is a lot. So yeah. Oh my gosh, I completely forgot. We have a money tree in the backyard uh, and we can sell this for 8,000 simoleons. Okay, I think we are actually doing okay with money because this is this week's bills uh, solved. Uh, this was Iris's gift to the family, which is wild. Just a casual money tree out the back. Today is the first day of spring. Spring has sprung, which is Maybe my favorite season in the game, I think. My favorite season IRL is autumn, but in game I like spring because all the plants look really beautiful and green. And Mariella has gone into labor. And you know, very, very calm, I've gotta say, extremely calm. <laughs> oh, and they're about to age up as well. I think Ocean ages up today. I think the girls age up today. It's just the day of birth, I'm telling you. Crib out and we'll just do a nice calm birth at home. Let's go here, have the baby. And I guess we don't have to do a nature name for Mariella because this child isn't going to be an heir of the family. It's a boy! Oh! What about Theodore? I, I think the name Theo or Theodore is really, really sweet. Oh, little Theodore. So beautiful. Now, how would we feel if the heir ended up with Theodore? Is that too close for comfort or is it okay? Now, the good thing is we can age up the baby straight. Oh, look. Oh, where did it go? <laughs> Uh, I can't believe the boss keeps saying they're disappointed in Mariella. Okay, she has been, you know, pregnant, heavily pregnant, I might add. She's not going to be able, oh yes, independent means they can go to the toilet. <gasps> Such cool hair. Um, you know, honestly, they expect too much. They really do. Oh, hello. Oh, you're so cute, little Theodore. I love you, and I love Mariella as a mom. Let's get Ernest over to see their son. Actually, what does what does Theodore need? Just some fun, just some loving. And then the girls will love having like 
little Theodore in the house as well. Oh, they can sit next to each other. Look, it's your son, Theodore. Is he not the cutest? Oh, oh Theodore doesn't want a hug. That's funny. Oh, that's hilarious. I guess because they're independent, maybe. All right, well, let's age up some of these guys. Okay, let's... Oh, don't take a piece. Good Lord, do not take... Do not take a piece. All right, Clover, you can go first, my dear. Woo! Now, Clover is going to be vegetarian and creative. And then we need to randomize the aspiration. Okay, generating, let me see. Oh my gosh, they want to be a painter extraordinaire. Perfect, a little bit boring because we've already done this one before, but you know, it's okay. We've already, um, or should we maybe do another one? Because we've already done that one. Oh, well, we'll just let me know in the comments. Coral, you're next. Yay, so Coral's gonna be a little bit paranoid and a bookworm and generating an aspiration for Carl. They've got the world famous celebrity. Okay. They want to become really famous. I'm a, I'm a little unsure about that. To be a TBH. Oh, we've got a bit of a handful. All right, Ocean, you are now just aging up to an adult. You've done really well. Um, so they're going to look the same. They've still got their knitting aspiration. And then who's left to age up? Aging up as well today. Jeez, everyone's aging up. It's the big day today. <laughs> Sunday, the big day. First day of spring and Mariella is also an adult and a mama. And that's so cute. Yay, teenagehood. All right, well, maybe let's jump into create a sim and style these guys a little bit. So oh. Carl, so they're a bit paranoid. They're a bit of a bookworm and they want to be famous. So maybe a famous writer um, would make sense. And they look a lot like Ocean, actually, although they've got a bit more of a bump in their nose. Now, I'm not going to ruin the bump, but I am going to like push it out just a little bit like this because I feel like it looked like they couldn't breathe properly when it was sticking right out from here. So they've still got a, you know, a bump in the nose, but it just looks, at least to me, a little bit more realistic. And they've got the ice blonde hair, which was dyed, but oh well, you know. It's amazing how if you dye your hair, you can pass it on to your kids. <laughs> So let's see if Coral and Clover are identical other than their hair color. Clover's been experimenting with some makeup and they do look different. This is Clover's appearance. Again, I'll just do something similar with the nose. I'll just, uh, I'll let it still have a good arch like that. But yeah, just make it look a little bit more realistic. This is Clover, creative, wants to be a painter, vegetarian. Great brows. Wait a second, Ernest is an alien, you guys? What? I had no idea Ernest was an alien, that's crazy. You know, I absolutely love it when we go from winter into spring and this is where we're at right now. The snow is cleared up, the house is looking so nice and bright again and soon all the trees and flowers will have leaves and greenery, which is really nice. I did finish off uh, giving the Sims a little bit of a makeover. Uh, so I guess the Sims are just looking more their age, perhaps. So Ocean's got a few different new outfits. Um, Victoria actually has a really nice elder outfit. They look really good in this. And Mariella, even though they're not in their outfits right now, they've kind of got a bit more of like a trendy mum look. Not even that trendy, but just nicely dressed, I feel. And a little bit of a haircut to change it up a bit. Then Coral here is, um, why are you a young adult? I'm just using a cheat to quickly age them down. You can turn on testing cheats true and then use the cheat cas dot full edit mode. Um, if you accidentally age up your Sims twice, which is what I did. So we'll just age them back down and I think they should come into the same age range as Clover. 
Where are we at? Seven days for you. Seven days for Clover. So Clover is looking pretty cute too. They've got some more like teen clothes on and I'm actually wondering maybe Coral could be the heir just because they different they have a different aspiration. Although we can always change Clovers. I don't know. Maybe we'll just see whichever Tim kind of meets someone first and decides to have a baby. A baby. Uh, and then little Theodore is feeling very sleepy. You're so cute little Theodore. But I'm going to get you to have a little sleepy time. I also gave the house a makeover. Um, well, at least all the bedrooms were looking really good and my game crashed after 40 minutes of filming. So I have come back to the start again. Nothing major happened within the household. It was just, I did the renovations, which is really nice. So I think I'll just leave the bed bedrooms as is for now. Uh, let us repair this and I also, it's really annoying because Ocean was getting really high up in their career. They're level four right now. Uh, they were doing so well. And also because Ocean has such a good reputation, they keep getting all of these job offers like every single day. It's kind of ridiculous because their reputation is so high. You'll find if they have a great reputation, I think that's when they start getting lots of different job offers, which can actually be really handy in the game because you can jump a couple of levels. So Ocean's done everything they need to for their ensemble level. Uh, you're doing your homework, which is lovely. And we need to start getting your writing skill up. I'm just thinking there, it's seven o'clock now. Oh yeah, we might have a little bit of time after a bath to do some homework. So I'll get you to jump up here and do a little bit of practice writing. And Theodore will be aging up in four days and the girls have seven days until aging up and then just to recap i think this is sixth generation one two three four five six. Oh my gosh we're actually gonna get to 10 i'm so excited and i'm trying to get this finished before werewolves comes out i mean we might do a werewolves lp with it with the 10th generation from this family i'm not sure but it will no longer be a legacy challenge and i don't want that video or the werewolf coverage videos to interfere with this challenge so that's why i'm kind of racing to get this done might just replace that because we got a lot of money at the moment and mariella do you want to maybe sell all of this money fruit oh we've got to really we've got to do so much to get to the next stage of this as well um so we're gonna get a gardening skill up we probably are going to need to get a gardening book i think that's actually one of the work options though so we might end up having to do that soon uh, maybe you can just do like a cheap arrangement before bed it's always good if you get the florist table to start doing arrangements that are really cheap to get your skill level up first and it won't cost you that much every bouquet unless you're growing your flowers obviously and then once you get all of that done uh to like maybe level five um then it's worth doing the more expensive bouquets and you can make a lot of money back from what you're spending as well let's also harvest this catnip plant over here which is super duper handy it's just over the fence actually you know what we should put here a little gate because every now and then we need to oh let's maybe we should do a different colored fence piece just for fun do a red fence to go with the red tree um, yeah, it's really handy because we just go outside of this gate and then you can fulfill the work from home assignment of harvesting flowers. Well, it looks like it is your time to go. Victoria, thank you very much for your contribution to our household today. We appreciate you. <laughs> I'm sorry, I don't know why I'm laughing. This seems to be my new way of dealing with my Sims dying. Interestingly, Grim really wants us to plea for Sims. Like, whenever we don't plea for them, I feel like he goes downstairs and really wants to ask everyone, you know, do you want to plea? He's saying he doesn't like our dining chairs or our decor. That is so rude. What do you like? Like, hardcore, gothic, 1,000-year-old furniture, Grim? So rude. So rude! Okay, well, we missed that because Grim was just, like, sitting around. 
Oh dear. Oh jeez, Carl, what? Oh wow, Carl's mood. Okay, I swear I've been looking after my other sims, but not Carl so much. So let's get... Wait, I need to redo all of these rooms again. I mean, maybe we can assign this room to Carl now that uh, it's freed up. Whoa, this looks so nice. Butternut squash soup. So we would call that pumpkin soup, but I guess butternut squash is pumpkin in America. Is that right? Yeah, so these guys are enjoying the morning. You've got to go to school. We managed to get Carl's mood up, so that's good. And I'll eat lunch at school anyway. Um, and I guess it's Theodore's birthday today, and actually, it's Ernest's birthday too, so we can... I'm obsessed with that soup, by the way, that just looks so scrum diddly umptious. Let's get the old confetti cake out. Okay, Ernest, do you want to help Theodore blow out the candles? Oh, feeling flirty today, I see you're wearing your romance festival t-shirt as well for the occasion. No! Stop. You- Stop! You're staying here. I'm kind of sad that Theodore is growing up, you know? Like, I, I just wish Theodore could stay young forever because they were the cutest little toddler. And Ernest, I'll get you to blow out these candles as well. So Theodore is going to be a creative sin- sin? Not a sin! They are not a sin. Um, yeah, you can research some art. And we'll get you, Ernest, to blow out your candles. It's nice that father and son have the same birthday, isn't it? And now Ernest is an elder. Aww. He looks like a nice, kind man. And then Theodore looks pretty cool. And Theodore's ready to go to sleep, I think. So Theodore's bedroom, how... Let me just figure out how we're going here. So maybe what we'll do is move... Let's move Carl. Uh, I don't think I can set the beds while they're at work. Bummer. Bummer, bummer. We have so much money from our money tree and also because all the sims... All of our sims are quite successful these days. Maybe this can be Theodore's room. That's Flint's old room. I was wondering where all the sims went, but they're all upstairs enjoying the rumpus room. Not quite sure about this outfit Ocean has picked. It seems a little strange, um, but you know what? That's okay. That might be the current trend. But yeah, I just thought it was really nice. You know, they're all sitting here having their pumpkin soup as a family. I think we should update the uh, family portrait. And we also need to get a note board as well, because you guys were saying not only do the postcards obviously look really nice on the note board, but these little pictures and Polaroids that we've been able to get from the Ravishine photo mod, those can look really nice up there as well. Because um, I think we have a few of those lying around the place. Yeah, so it's the weekend and the girls invited a friend back from school and interestingly this is Brendan Goff. Which is kind of weird because I'm like where does Brendan fit into the family tree? And technically their dad was Dale Goff. So I was thinking oh Brendan could be a potential love interest. But then I'm like oh no what happens if they're related? Because Dale was actually the brother of Antoinette, and we can't see who their parent was. And it doesn't show any relationship, so maybe it's another goth, just the same last name? I don't know, it seems a little weird. So maybe we don't go there, maybe we just be friends. So let's all channel surf together. Oh, and we have another friend over here. This is... Who's this? Riley, who they brought home from school? So maybe we can rave about growing up. It's nice for them to have some friends over from school and actually have somewhat of a teenagehood compared to our other generations. And maybe we'll get little Theodore to join in as well. I love their goth noses. Like, I don't know, I love the bump in the nose. I like a nose that has character. Like sometimes when I make sims, I'll give them a nice bump in their nose. Well, let's give our little brother a love day gift. Well, he's kind of like a brother. He's not really their brother. Why are you so sad? Oh, just having a mood swing. I get it. I think it would be good for us to both have both daughters take a picture with Riley and then both daughters take a picture with Brendan so then they can like 
full relationships. I like how the butler is just watching in the background and their mom just watching the kids have a good time. All right, well, it's almost midnight, so I think it's fair enough that uh, the guests head home. Also, I think what I'll do from now on is as soon as we get the notification that we can throw a birthday party or that the sim is aging up soon, I'm gonna take that as we can age the sim up. I think some people play the legacy challenge that way and then other people it's like you have to wait until the actual zero days until aging up. But I feel like there's not much difference. Okay, so we did just get the pop-ups that it is the girl's birthday or it's almost their birthday, which I feel like that means there's only one day. It's okay to throw a party and have a birthday cake and they can actually invite their two friends over. So that's really exciting. We have friends. <laughs> so let's plan a little birthday. And we can actually make both of them the birthday girls, which is nice. And we're gonna invite their new friends, Riley and Brendan, and then I guess their family members. Why does this remind me of my own birthdays? It's all my family members. <laughs> Honestly, I just love having birthdays with my fam. All right, all right, everyone, welcome to the party. Oh, they're actually wearing their party wear, nice. So this this is kind of like the same dress that I think Ocean wore this in blue to her birthday. Oh, look at the two sisters. Why are you so sad? <laughs> You're the birthday girl, Carl. <laughs> well, how about we get the two sisters to take a picture together? Hopefully they don't look too devo. Um, but I think that will be nice. Oh, you're looking good in your in your pink top, Theodore. Oh, Marielle is looking really nice too. I have no idea what everyone else. Oh, what? Oh no! Ocean's wearing the exact same dress as their daughter. That's kind of awkward, isn't it? Also, I didn't tell you guys, but I gave Ocean the same tattoo as their mom, Iris, because I just thought that would be really cool. She's like, honey, calm down. Nothing's gonna change. You're still my baby. Don't get stressed out about becoming an adult. I mean, it is kind of scary, but at least you have your sister who could do the baby thing too. It was only up to me. Okay, why don't you wanna take a picture with your sister? Yay! Oh, I love these sisters. They're so cute. Oh, and they just became good friends. Well, that's nice. Okay, so what do we do? Socialize with the birthday sim for three hours? I mean, if we socialize together, I guess that'll work for both of them. <laughs> I mean, look, I feel like we could go there with Brendan because... Oh, what? You're wearing the same dress as well. Oh, I love the accessories. Very, um, very nice. This dress is just the latest and greatest, I guess. Well, who's got a higher relationship with Brendan? They're about the same. They're both A students as well. I mean, I don't even know who's the heir at this point. Also, I don't want them to have drinks. Oh wait, it's only fair, they're turning 18, so okay, fine, we'll, we'll make some drinks. Actually, maybe we can get both Sims to blow out their candles at the same time. That could be nice. So we could get, a, should we get, oh, I was about to say the classic white cake. Okay, we can get these two to blow out their candles. So we're gonna get you to blow out the candles, you to blow out the candles. Oh, they are doing it at the exact same time! That's so awesome! That was like perfect timing, you guys. So Carl is going to also be adventurous, is a responsible sim, and Clover is going to be a genius. Okay, so I think maybe... Maybe because Carl also got that uh, responsible trait, will choose you as the heir. Um, takes the stress off their sister. Also, where's the uh, where's the mixologist we hired? Do mixologists just never come to your house anymore? Or I guess everyone's just gonna have to make their own drinks. Oh, we got a bronze medal. Ow, that was a little disappointing. Hey, don't leave us. You're our only potential baby daddy. 
Okay, let's take a picture of you both together because this could be potential baby material. I'm, I am a little uncomfortable about the last name. I feel like it might rub you guys the wrong way, but we've checked the family tree and they are not related on the family tree, so they could just have the same name, you know? And I think even if the nose is different, we can tell it's not a goth. See, different nose. I'm not recognizing any of the goth features we would usually see. So if we move Brendan Goth in to kind of secure this relationship, this arranged relationship, this is a little creepy because Andrea Goth looks a lot like Cassandra and Alexander Goth. I think it's the round glasses. And there's a Nathan Goth, a Felicia Goth, and a Amaya Goth. But the thing is, we just don't know. Also, a lot of Sims are being adopted now from neighborhood stories, so I'm also unsure about that too. I don't know. If it doesn't say they're related in the family tree, I think they're okay. And I'm only going to ask for a contribution of $5,000 from the Goths, which is not much, I might add. And this will just make it a little bit easier to, you know, go ahead with the arranged marriage or the arranged relationship. I'm just gonna lock the door. It's not like, it's not cruel or anything. We arrange the relationship and then lock them in a room to get busy basically, although there's no bed in here. Okay, well now that the uh, romance painting, the traditional, annual annual romance painting has been activated to set the mood let's let's get ready for this let's let's see if uh if these two want to make things happen why am i being so awkward <laughs> you know what maybe we should just check the family tree one more time because what happens if it updates with more information <gasps> there is more information okay so they've got two siblings their mom is amaya Amaya came from Larry, who came from Alexander. Uh, that's all we know. Okay, well, I don't see Dale on there, so we're still okay. Also, I think the double flannel is very daring with the mohawk, but we may need to make a few changes. Oh, she did seem a little unsure then, but oh dear. I just, I feel bad about the legacy challenge when it's this rushed. I really do. Well, confess an attraction. Looks like they're a little bit busting as well. And how's their relationship going? I mean, they barely know each other, but we can probably let them out to try for a baby, I think. So, uh, how do you feel about this baby setup? Like, would you be okay having a baby with me? Or, yeah, that's okay. All right, awesome. Because I just have to fulfill that. This looks very, oh, it looked very slow for a moment. I'm just gonna, oh no! The worst thing is that Clover's in the bathroom. Oh no, Clo Clover waited in the bathroom until they were done. Oh, and I've, I've really not been taking care of anyone's needs. Quickly go to the toilet. Yeah, good idea. Um, and with a bit of luck, Carl, you'll be, you'll be ready to rumble. Oh no, please don't, please don't. I don't understand why these sims, they're, they're just so bad at taking care of themselves, you know? Alright, they are successfully pregnant, that is very exciting, and now they can also get to know each other. They still have to get to know each other. Well, this is probably what an arranged marriage was like. I'm gonna work on their needs for a little while and get them back to, to feeling good again. It's summer, you guys! That's good. Lots of thunderstorms, which means we'll probably get a lot of collectibles as well. And it also means we have lots of our bananas to sell, or plantains. Whatever you want to call them. Can't believe we're at level 7 floral designer. Like, I feel like it was only yesterday we started that. Okay, well, I've managed to get everyone into a fairly good mood. I think what I'll do is get Clover to become a teacher. Oh, they're, they're probably going to get higher up in their aspiration if they're a painter. I just feel we've had a lot of painters in this family, so it'd be nice to mix it up a little bit. I mean, they could follow in their mum's footsteps being style influencer. But I love, I love having teacher sims. I'm not really sure what it is, but I just like that. And I guess we'll get you, Carl, to become a writer. 
Because you can become famous from being a writer and also they're a bookworm. So it kind of works. So let's get you to write a book, a short story. Nice one, Mariella. 420 simoleons a day. We have almost $100,000. Like, if we wanted to, we could probably do a full-blown modern renovation of this house. Maybe at the end we could do that, at the end of this series. We got some fossils to sell. Um, oh, also, I think I did put this up on the gallery before the most recent renovation. Oh, no, I haven't. I haven't put it up yet. So my other LP Legacy house is up, but this one is not. Well, what I might do is put it up as it is, because it's kind of at a fairly good stage now where you might want to download it. And in case we do do a big renovation, at least you have it at this stage. I think it's got like six bedrooms now and five bathrooms, maybe. So keep in mind, there is a huge amount of custom content in this house. Uh, there's too much to even go through to list, but I'd say the main ones would be Charlie Pancakes for the windows and wallpapers, Max 20 iceberg counters. Um, there's a lot of EA stuff as well. This bed is by Little Dicker from the Sleek Slumber Pack. So much Maxis in here as well. It might not, once you have the windows and maybe the kitchen counters and Charlie wallpaper, these are mostly the small wallpaper. Um, I think you'll be okay. There's really not too much. Surprisingly, that isn't CC because the couches are all Maxis. Oh, I think the curtains are little. Are these little dicker curtains? Yeah, that's another sleek slumber. So yeah, Sleek Slumber, Small... Wait, I'll go through it. Sleek Slumber by Little Dicker, Small Pack by Charlie Pancakes, the Max 20 Counters, and the Charlie Pancakes. Windows. Oh, and maybe the PRSM Office. Did we use any of those? No. Oh, and Tiny Twavelers, I think this cupboard might be from. Well, I think what I'll do is leave this part right here because we will be up to generation seven tomorrow. Oh, me, I'll be filming it tomorrow. I'm not sure if it'll come out tomorrow. Uh, but yeah, we'll start off the next part with the new bye boy. So thank you guys so much for watching. A, let me know if you want a big house renovation. I hope you're having a lovely morning, afternoon, or evening, wherever you are in the world. And I can't wait to speak to you all soon. Dag, dag. Or maybe we just hit the end of the road Right now it doesn't even matter It's too late not to let it go And that's why I